Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play with 401 Games. Today we're going to be featuring a special version of Ticket to Ride, the Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries, which is really good for two to three players. So we're playing it on the Let's Play with Two series. So I'm joined by my amazing friend Gina. Hi, I'm Gina. I'm a cosplayer and tabletop gamer, and I also used to live in Norway, so this is exciting for me. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna need you to teach me how to pronounce these names because I 100% will butcher all of them. Yep, just this guaranteed. Is, uh, also, that's Norwegian with Gina. Yes. <laughs> all right, so for those of you who have played Ticket to Ride out of the USA or the Europe version, the Nordic countries version varies slightly uh, with some different mechanics, so we will highlight those differences. And as a Ticket to Ride game, it plays quite similarly, so if you, watch this version but feel like you want to try something a little easier i do recommend the usa or the europe version instead basic gameplay we have what are called our train cards here and that's what allows us to play um, trains to claim routes so let's say i wanted this orange track here that costs four orange cards i would need to pay four orange train cards out of my hand in order to claim that route and why are we building routes, Gina? Uh, basically, the goal of the game is you're going to start with five of these tickets, um, and you can either keep all five or you can discard, but you have to keep how many, Vicky? You have to keep at least two. Yes. So the goal of the game is to complete those routes, and whoever has the most routes completed um, will score the most points. That said, if you have some tickets that you don't complete, you're going to lose points for those. So it might not be optimal to keep all of your tickets. Yeah. Okay, so we will explain destination cards a bit more in depth when we get to that. Uh, but just want to explain what the train cards do. So you'll notice that there are some cards here. This is the rainbow card. And these are all the cards in play. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors as well as what's called the locomotive, or we're just gonna call it the rainbow card from now on. The rainbow card acts as a fairy or a tunnel wild card. So any of these routes here, you see the special markings on the side, or like the, the ones with the minute locomotive symbol on it, that's where you would use these cards. Unlike the other Ticket to Ride versions, this is not a wild card that can be used on a regular route. So let's say, for example, I had, this was my hand. I had two orange and two rainbow, and I wanted to get this route here. In a normal Ticket to Ride game, that's totally fine. Orange, orange, and wild cards could be counted as any color of my choice, which would be orange. But in Nordic countries, that's not allowed. <laughs> you can only use them as wild cards on routes that are tunnels or ferries. That's the main difference between this version and the basic version of Ticket to Ride, which I guess makes it a little more interesting and not as easy to just stockpile these wild cards up. Uh, also, wild cards have no limit on drawing, so, oh, there were more than two. So, in, Previous Ticket to Ride games, you could only draw, if you were going to take a wild card, one wild card and you would have to draw it on your first draw. Uh, in this game, you can take as many of the rainbow cards as you want, as many times as you want, um, up to that limit of two draws per turn. All right, let's find out what destinations we are going to be building routes to. So, we've got the destination pile here. And we will deal five out to each player. Great. So. so also with these cards, any of the ones we discard are permanently out of the game. So there's no drawing from a discard pile. Um, as soon as you've discarded one, it's out. I am going to, for the sake of this, discard three and keep two, or no, we have to keep three at the beginning, right? Two. Two, okay. I'm gonna discard three and keep two um, because you can also, use a turn to pick up more of these tickets later. All right, so I think with that, we're ready to start playing. And we both start with 40 train cars. 
Uh, the game does come with a few extras in case you lose them, but make sure you count out 40 for the game. So the person who travels the most gets to go first. I feel like that's me, also because I live here. <laughs> yes, that's it. Where, where did you live? Stavanger. Stavanger, all right. Starting my turn, uh, I'm going to draw one of these wild cards, reveal a new card, and then I'm actually gonna enjoy this new rule and take the other wild card. And it's important when you're playing Ticket to Ride to, when you are drawing the cards, uh, make sure after each card you draw, you reveal a new one. All right, so for my turn, I'm going to grab this orange guy. Oh, yes, I got lucky. You can also choose to draw blindly from the draw pile as well. Uh, uh, all right, your turn. Okay, so I am going to attempt to build a train in a tunnel. So for that, I can use these as wild cards. And then I have two red. So I'm gonna try for this route here. So what we have to do, because it's a tunnel, is flip, I think it's three. three. We're flipping three cards. And if one of those matches, Bam. they don't, so I don't have to fulfill any extra condition. I can just go ahead and build my train there. Good stuff. All and right. Bergen so to Oslo. I'll take your discards then. Thank you. Oh man. Also in a two player game, important to note that any of the double tracks cannot be claimed once one of them has been claimed cannot be both used, sorry. Yeah. So for example, since I've built a train here already, Vicky can't use this other track here. Oh man, I am getting cut off. Gee, okay, I'm gonna take this card. I'm on a mission. I, I can see that. I'm going to also blindly take from, drop from the hawk. Okay. So this turn, I'm going to draw some more routes. Because um, right now I only have two. So I feel like I should maybe have another one. So when you're doing it for the second time, um, you draw three. And you can either keep all three, but you at least have to keep one. So one, two, three. Let's see what they are. OK, I'm going to keep these two, and I'm going to discard one. All right, so that's my turn. Oh, a handful of nothing. Uh, don't forget there's a finite amount of trains too. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can't just put trains everywhere and cover the map that way. Ooh, I hope I have enough trains to do what I want. I'm gonna keep drawing. I'm going to spend one locomotive to put a guy right there. Butts. And I get a point. So I'm gonna do an interesting thing that the Nordic version allows. And on one of the ferry routes, you can actually supplement three cards for one of another color. So what I'm gonna do is play a blue card, three yellow cards as another blue card, and three green cards as another blue card, so I can take this route here. Ooh. Which is also a nice way to cut down a hand if you have a really large hand. And for that route, I get four points. I'm uh, trying to get up to speed on what I want. I will draw the pink. And I'm going to take that too. All right. Okay. I'm going to take the pink. And that pink as well. Much pink. So much pink. I'm going to play my pink. I'm going to take. No, little baby. And you get one point. <laughs> one point. Oh wait. I think we have to do the destinations before we do the. Trains. Let's do the destinations first. So do, should we just start at zero then? Yes. Let's just start. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna start at zero. <laughs> we don't trust ourselves enough. No. Okay. So let's do destinations first. Okay. So let's do this in a way of if you completed your destination, put it down. If you didn't complete it, put it to the side. Okay. Okay, Fair. so my first destination, Stockholm to Yimitra, uh, I did that. Where's Stockholm? And this place in Finland. Ooh. 
Yes, because I went through Helsinki. Yes, you did. Okay, next one, Helsinki to Bergen. Uh, da, 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 da. It's really roundabout, but yes, completed. Copenhagen to Ulu. Uh, I did that. Copenhagen is down. down there. Bergen to Copenhagen. I did. That was my first one. Gothenburg to Ulu. Uh, down there. Did that. Olborg to Norrköping. Uh, Olborg is over here. Norrköping is there. Did that. Oh, that's a short one. Go to Ford to Turku. Uh, Turku is there. Did that one. And Oslo to Helsinki. Oslo is there, and Helsinki is there. All so of yours were like all along the way. We're like a beautiful <laughs> trip through Scandinavia. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't even enter this area at all. Mm -hmm. We didn't get very far north. <laughs> no one wants to travel north. Okay, so that's very impressive. You got all of them. Yes. All right. Well, I have Narvik to Copenhagen to Narvik. So Narvik's up here, snakes all the way down, down there. It would have been a more elegant train if you didn't cut me off there, but well, whatever. You did it to Wait, me too. why did you need Arhu? You uh, didn't. I was trying to go this way, and then you uh -huh. cut me off, so I had to go a different way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so I have Arahu to Lillehammer, so Arahu all the way, where's Lillehammer? Oh, wait, no, it's Lillehammer here, it's here, it's yeah. a short one, okay. Alborg to Umea, so Alborg and Umea was on the way up here. And then Bergen to Narvik, so Bergen, I managed to connect it to my main That's a little line all the way up to Narvik. That was as far as I had to go. Okay, so let's math these points. Okay, yeah, let's let's do you. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. 73 points from destinations alone. <laughs> All right, okay, so yeah, mine are not as fantastic because I kept my starting hand. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So much farther behind you. And the globe trotter is also for the most destinations completed. In this yes, game. so, you so get that's a bonus. me. So I get an extra ten points. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eighty-three, ten. So now we're going to be scoring the train car points, uh, and I think at this point we'll just take the trains off so that we know we've scored them because we don't need mm -hmm. them anymore. Uh, no, we're just counting. All right. Each train. Okay. So, so you can go. This is Want me to go first? Yeah, we'll do the okay. purple first. So three cars is worth four points. So move yourself up to four. Four. One is worth one. Two is worth two. This is one. So we're at 123 on my end. <laughs> you have a huge lead. I don't. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see. Let's let's count it up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Last four cars. All right. So why don't you count mine for okay, me? Okay. So we have one point. One. Yeah. Four points. Four points. Four. Uh, four points. One, two, three, four. And another four. One, two, three, four. Not even close. <laughs> well, that was fun, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if someone did the Liska to what? Murmansk? Yeah. That is worth what? That's one, two, that's three, four, worth, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. 27 points. It's worth 27. Yeah. So if you want to risk a giant route, it actually gets you a few more points than just doing little safe ones. Yeah. Yeah. I was playing it safe. <laughs> when we had none of us had anything up here, so I don't know. Yeah, anyway, that was really fun. I think in comparison to the other Ticket to Rides, the Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries certainly has a bit more direct conflict with the other player just because there aren't as many route options. So if she blocked me off here, I had to it would cost me four more trains to go completely yeah. around. Now, if those of you who don't like conflict, you can ignore the rule that says you can't use the double passageways, because then it makes it a bit more of a parallel train track building exercise rather than a competition. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, for a two player game, I think the map size was good and I think the length was good, pacing yeah. was good. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is probably the best version of Ticket to Ride that I've played. Um, I really liked the fairies and the way that the wild card functions in this one. Um, so for my, my Nordic review, Yai Lika, Ticket to Ride, Nordic Countries. <laughs> awesome! Well, thanks guys for watching. If you're interested in getting Nordic Countries, it is on 
sale here at 401 Games, or you can get it at 401games.ca. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks you for watching. Watch again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>